Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Amazingly, I feel like th this game has flown by. We're already pretty much at the end. There are two levels left. Or I'm going to make it so there are two levels left. Call this the second to last episode. The many hold sway here. Even I cannot maintain contact. You are on your own, hu human, human. Fill me not. Alright, so here we are in the body of the many. It's unpleasantly dark. Kind of tough to see. We obviously have no map. Well, that should be obvious anyway. yourself out on our warmth. One of our many will be there to help you before long. All right. Look through here first. Oh shit, it's Psy Reaver. There I am, just straight up not paying attention. Alright, come on now. Out of ammo for reload. Well, that's not good. It actually doesn't matter that much. We wish proximity grenades didn't suck so much. So I got plenty of them. A Psy Reaver brain. Well, that's all fine. I got ten modules in there. There's a rumbler. Alright, there's a rumbler around that corner. If I drop down to three incendiary grenades, I need to try and... I need to make a point of trying to dupe them at that point. Let's do a ma maintenance on the old pistol. And the grenade launcher too, while we're at it. That smacks of forward, and indeed this is where we came in, so let's go check out the other side path here. <laughs> Ugh, I hate those things. I wish I could see. The actual egg. We're just gonna have to wait them out. It's pretty annoying, but patience is, in fact, one of my strong suits. I haven't changed my ammo. Every egg gets destroyed. Every worm, too. Wow, it's a... It's a chemical... What the? Oh, come on now. You can't be spawning swarms without an egg. That is... Absolutely uncool. Oh wow. It's an audio log. I nearly missed. I think my current max health is 27. I'm gonna go ahead and use a hypo. We're close. Let's listen to the log. One of the flying things dragged me and David here last night. 
I don't remember much about the trip. I guess I must have blocked it out, half conscious most of the time. I keep remembering the part from Pinocchio, you know, where the old man goes looking for the puppet inside the whale. Except I don't think anyone's coming in here to save me. I don't think I ever realized my uh, armor was out of power. All right, prisms. Recycle them. Yes, please. All right, we're collecting modules. There's a secure, uh, straight, straight up security crate. Got pretty lucky on that one. This is a chemical storeroom, but I don't see a manifest. And we do have a working replicator. Please make your selection. Only proximity grenades. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, only one way forward, which I always appreciate. Let's do it. Now I'm convinced that this many, as it calls itself, indeed has a centralized nervous system, which means we would have to have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. Another log. The arterial passageways are blocked by some kind of sphincter. I follow the nerves that thread it out of the walls from the blockage. They lead to a pair of nerve clusters. When the passageway is open, the cluster seems to contract. Conversely, I wonder if I was able to destroy both clusters. It would open the blockage permanently. I'm anxious to see the rest of this beast. Oh, come on now. All right. Unresearched object that will stay unresearched. We can recycle these worms. That'll help. All right. Let's go through there first. Maintenance tool. What's in here? Nanites. Anything else? More chemicals. Why so many research chemicals? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Neither does this piss poor job of texture creation. There we go. All right. Neat side passage. Let's keep it going. Here's another one. All right, we got some slime there. Let's go down here first. Inviso spooter. Almost out of batteries, but that's okay. We got the psi power to charge things. Oh, radiation, huh? Alright, wheel. Recycle all that. Haven't had to use a rad hypo in a while. Keep going. Dude, get in there. The machine mother cannot help you inside the biomass. Her coldness. Her coldness is not welcome within the world of our This is just an air pocket, almost. There's useful stuff in here. 
Alright, we got another rad room. Radiation hazard. I don't like it. It annoys me. They would stick him in here this late in the game. Okay. Let's see if... As I suspect, yeah. This just loops. Let's go through here. the F. Alright. We're still radiated, apparently. Holy shit! Come on! Alright, you gotta clear the fucking joint at some point. And well, there's nothing back that way. Let's get and recycle that implant. Let's get the med kit. Alright, you gotta like. Radiation hazard. Jesus Christ, Marie. There's a nerve cluster. Alright, well, back here there were modules and and one of the nerve clusters that I need to destroy. And suddenly I remember why I hate this level so much. This shit just... It's not cool, man. Oh, here. Just deal with a fuckload of environmental hazards. She figured out how to fight things by now, so let's fuck with you a different way, huh? Huh? Yeah, whatever. Let's keep going. Hey, Rumbler. It's fine. Hello. What? Oh, good lord. Modules and a funky jump jet. All right, that's the sphincter. So this is pretty straightforward. We've got one other pathway to explore. Oh, the fucking swarm! Jeebus, I hate those things. I'm like, oh, just... <clears throat> just run away for a while. We're gonna waste your time. Doesn't that sound fun? No! Oh, and the... Jesus. Fucking jump jets. Alright, well now they don't know I'm here. So I'll just wait for them to die without having to run and... Ideally, without having to deal with the dang jump jets. I would really... At some point, I'd like to have words 
with whoever thought these things were a good idea. How do we take this awesome game that's full of tension and demands active engagement from our players and, and just turn it purely, stupidly annoying? All right. Well, I made it to a room. This. All right, there's some there's some goodies in here. This appears to be an actual chemical storeroom. Oh yeah, <gasps> a recharge unit. Oh, I didn't expect that. I'm glorious. Alright, and there are a bunch of chemicals. What upgrade units we got here? Stats and tech. That Please make your selection. Oh, come on. Jeez. Oh, safe room debating. It's the worst. It's alright. The biggest problem with having to waste time. Ugh, I can't crouch in this water. How annoying is that? Makes smacking the worms so much harder to do. Fuck off. There you go. That's what I think about all that. Now there are worm piles in here. Add them to the stack before we recycle them. Desk is empty. That's fine. Hello, gentle sir. Oh. Here's a security crate. Some prisms to recycle. And psi upgrades. I've got tier four. So let's get photonic redirection. And let's get Psychogenic Endurance. Okay. I have everything I need to finish the game now. Photonic Redirection is going to help us immensely when it's final battle time. But what I didn't find is the other nerve cluster. There's not another passage out of here, either. I guess there's one back here that I somehow missed. Because I went this way. Granted, though, I wasn't... Oh, duh. That meant here our very flesh. With no thought of compassion, compassion. Do, you do you think, think we, we will sit, sit idly by while you corrupt the very womb of our existence? The Psy Reaver room. That actually makes perfect sense. You seek your associates. 
but you cannot find them. You are so very alone. How does it feel to be one against the infinite? Honestly, not that bad. Well, I want to listen to the audio log. There's some kind of horrible grinding noise coming from the next area. It sounds like chewing. I think I think I know what's going to happen here. This is some kind of digestive tract of a very very large animal. I go back and forth between being fascinated and terrified. The creatures are a remarkable discovery. I wish I could only live long enough to learn more. I feel you, brother. I'm gonna fuck it up. Nanites. Say, I know she's in here. Wow, she's pretty clever. I'm gonna wreck you. Can't remember if there's anything up here or not. And the answer appears to be no. So let's just keep going. I know we eventually do have to do some platforming on the teeth, which is just as irritating as it sounds. I can't fucking see. There we go. Uh -huh. Right, we got another one of these. Say, I remember having the platform on the teeth, and I remember it really sucking. <laughs> Jesus, come on.
All right. Well, that's a terrible mechanic, and they should feel bad. Sensation is repulsive. Yeah, well, deal with it. I wasn't reacting quickly enough. Oh, I I missed. That's what you're going with. Where is she? Oh. There's a whole tunnel to the left that I just straight up did not see. Mother of God. Fine. You want to come out here? That sure is my preference. Well, hopefully now I can search this room. Another log. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human analid hybrids, it's becoming clear to me that Shodan has bred the Mini to use humans for other purposes. First of all, the Mini clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us, but it can also directly use us in the creation of its egg pods. Corpses are fed into some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I've been unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not. But it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. Alright. Well, where to first? Just, I was gonna say, just how about no on all of that? All of it. Prefontaine has another log. While I don't understand the analid life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp like creatures. The female are worm like analids that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analid hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the mini itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Well, yeah, seems about right. Recycle them worms. Do we? What else we got? Prisms for recycling. Very good. Let's reload our grenade launcher since we did just find more incendiaries. Praise the sun. More modules. I don't really need at this point, but, you know, hooray. 
practically drowning in disruptor, disruptor grenades. Alright. What do you think? Left or right? That looks like progress. Let's go this way. Oh, I wish there was a way to get light, because it's so... There are some spots where it's just so fucking dark. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we got more swarm eggs. Biggest of yawns. If there's one thing that's definitely bringing me some comfort, is that the, uh... Like, there's some difficult encounter gauntlets, both here and in the Rickenbacker, but the, the respawn rate seems to be toned. Turned way down, which I greatly appreciate. It bothers me how freaking dark it is! Like, it'd be one thing if, like, there was a resource, you know, that I could that I could or had to use in order to light things up, you know, like a a consumable flare or a flashlight with batteries, you know, that kind of thing that so many games have, but. If it's dark, I just have to deal with it. But there's no way to up the light. And I really don't like that. Alright, well, more spooters down here, clearly. More eggs. They're the ones that just try to hit me with poison. Hey, a healing gland. Finally, something good. More worms to recycle. I can't fucking see. Okay, so he gets to just walk on the bottom and go full speed. Come on up here, bruh. F you. Your hatred and your individuality. Now, don't you wish you joined us? Would you then feel so alone? There's another rumbler out there. But uh, that's got to be progress. Fuck.
All right, and here's another log. It's clear that this thing I'm trapped inside is intimately linked with all the organisms I observed on board the Von Braun. Strike that. This creature is the same organism. Perhaps the best way to describe it, or perhaps the only way I can comprehend it, is that the organism serves to perform the highest mental functions of the entire species. The smaller creatures exist only to enact its will. Now, strike that too. All the specimens act as a whole, like different organs in a single body, with this entity acting primarily as a brain. If one were to destroy this large specimen, I wonder, would it snuff out all the others? Boy, that also looks like progress. I'm super... I, I won't lie, I'm doubting myself now. So I, I, I figured a message from the many had to be progress. The respawn in here isn't too bad, so... Let's go see what's further this way. That's a big dive, so if I find a similar dive into the same pool, then... Then I know that it's pads linking up. Oh. I remember this. This is essentially like an optional area. This is the uh, the egg creation zone that the other log talked about. Modules. It's so damn hard to see. I, like, I really hate that about this. But, alright, we got that. There is another path still. But uh, I essentially recognize that big fall into the water as like the the climactic arrival at the central nervous system. So I'm gonna explore back here first. It's so hard to see, and there's no way to make more light. It's terrible. Like it's genuinely awful. Like, okay. Once I get farther into the room, I can kind of see. It's another egg room. Empty. Empty. Healing gland. And then, oh gosh. We got incendiary grenades and prisms. This corpse. This one's got disruptor grenades, worms to feed the recycler. This one's got nanites. Yahoo. Alright, and I think that is where these uh where the side path dead ends. So now we can track back, take the dive, and get ready for the big fight. Yeah, that's the optional side area. It's kind of... 
coming back to me. It's coming back to me. I always... In my mind, I always know I hate this level. And then every time I play the game, I remember... Oh yeah, no, this level deserves to be hated. It's crap. Compared to the rest of the game. It's just, generally speaking, it's very poorly designed. It's not fun to play. Alright. Search the bodies in the pool. Plenty of anti-personnel bullets. Hmm, I wonder what we should use. Prisms. Heck yeah. Alright, now... This is, as I said, very close to the big final battle in the area. I don't have batteries. Ah, I burned out. Damn. I... That was almost good. Okay. So see, that's how we recharge our stuff. And then... We can use invisibility... to get by the Psy Reaver. Until we find its brainstem. Firing a weapon ends our invisibility. That's the important bit to remember. It found me. I just wanted to listen to the audio log. Why is that such a big ask? I, I'm being taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, bristling with what appear to be uh, stalactites or, or teeth. It's right there. Of course it is. Let me listen, please. I 
seem to have stepped into something soft. It's slippery. I'm starting to... But do not despair. Surely the void is preferable to your pointless solitary solitary struggle. All right. So invisibility is like me, me me taking invisibility was all about this fight. Invisibility is basically what lets us go track down the brain stems in a reasonably timely fashion. River. Quiet. River! Quiet! I can't figure out why. Oh, good lord. They just keep coming. That did the job. Okay. Whew. Got it. So after we destroy that, we can drop in here. Hard part's over. That rumbler respawn rate was something else. I'll be right back, y'all. River, I'm sorry about the wolfing. Well, all right, everybody. That, I mean, we'll get to the actual end, of course, but that's the body of the many. By far the worst level in System Shock 2. Here we go. Listen. We die. We die. Beware the machine mother. She is a stranger. She is a stranger to everything we cherish. All right, but we have destroyed the many. 
This is good. Game saved. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. Where am I? That's always fun. Alright everybody, this has been Let's Play System Shock 2. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, just one more episode. Where Am I is the last map of the game. And then we'll be done and we'll be time for another Patreon series. It's nice to do a shorter one sometimes. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you will give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you are interested in discussing this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. There's a link to the Discord in the video description that I've set never to expire. That being said, Discord has a bad habit of expiring my links anyway. In the event that has happened, please feel free to contact me directly. I'll be very happy to send you an invite myself. If you are interested in supporting me or the channel, the best way apart from liking and subscribing is through my Patreon page. Uh, Patreon supporters get to nominate and or vote for the games they would like to see completed on the channel. System Shock 2 will be occupying that slot for one more episode, but it's very nearly done. After I finish a game, uh, I let my supporters choose another one. I then play it through front to back in my very completionist style, and once it's finished, like Shock 2 is about to be, it's time for the supporters to choose another. So if you're interested, that's a terrible outro, if you're interested in getting involved in the process or learning the details, the link to the Patreon is also in the video description. Regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I'm grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.